Hi, I'm Yansley Wright, and welcome back to The Pit. The topic for this week's Pit Stop is sports. You play any sports? Uh, yeah. Okay, what sport do you play? Baseball. Okay. What makes that sport better than the rest? I don't know, it's fun. Okay, but like, all sports are technically fun, but what makes that one the best? You wanna help me out? <laughs> Why would you play that instead of the others? It's more complex. I'll take it. Does anyone over here watch sports? No. You don't watch any sports? You got a lacrosse shirt on, so are you lying to me? Yeah. So you do play a sport? Uh, maybe so that boys. Do you play a sport? No. Do you watch sports? Sometimes. Okay, what sport do you watch? Uh, basketball and football. I got a bubble around me. What makes those better than the rest? Huh? What makes basketball and football better than the rest? Uh, okay, if you had to get rid of basketball or football, what would you get rid of? What would I believe? What would you get rid of? Mm, football. Okay, why? Well, football, but you, you can hurt yourself, and and it's a lot harder than uh, basketball. He's playing on the. Okay, do you any watch you? Do you any watch sports? Okay, what sport do you like to watch? Stalker. What makes that sport funner to watch? Because <laughs> my girlfriend. Do you watch it because your girlfriend? Yeah. Is it worth it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what do I do? I play water polo. Uh, we go in the <laughs> pond out there, out back. They grab like balls out the gym. I don't know what kind of balls they are, and we just go. We dive right in. <laughs> we're throwing them all over the place. They set up two goals. One right here. One right here. We're just going. We're going. We're going. We're going. We win every time. Undefeated. Water polo chair. Uh, we've won seven in three years so far. Three years, seven? Oh wow, that's pretty impressive. Pretty soon. Name them all. Uh, let's see, 2012, two times, 2014, 17. That's more than three years. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so I play Wii Sports. They're the bowling team, they're the tennis team. There's everything you could ask for. Last year, I think I scored, I bowled around a 300 score. It was pretty good. On tennis, undefeated. It's just something slight, bro. All right, all right, all right. You want any championships from Wii Sports? No, I choke. I choke. The Effingham County High School Air Force JROTC Corps had an important evaluation at the beginning of March that had some interesting incentives. How did the corp do? Well, let's just say they were clearly a cut above. Well, no, this was all part of a, uh, we recently underwent our unit evaluation, and uh, it's something that happens every three years. So it's a very important evaluation. We assessed ourselves and we had two staff assistance visits and we identified 21 areas of excellence and the evaluator didn't believe that we had that many but when he conducted the inspection he found out we did to be honest i was looking forward like the forward to it, the whole inspection like if we pass this we get to actually shave colonel's head i mean i can cut hair but it's really because i've watched my mom all my whole all my life so really i get my talent from her basically and again, I'm very proud of cadets with what they have accomplished, and it's a great day here at Effingham County High School. Hello, you lovely people, and welcome to our new music segment, Music Now, the segment that tells you all about music news. Have you ever heard of the $10,000 scholarship that was inspired by people from around the world? Well, I haven't before. The $10,000 scholarship is a cool thing. Imagine Dragons started this campaign after touring the world and seeing all the people from different cultures and their beauty. They also got to see how these families are struggling financially. Imagine Dragons wanted to help these families in need and wanted to allow their children to get a good college education. The website that you can go for the scholarship is bold.org. They have a video and lots of other information about the scholarship. Well, isn't that great to hear? On that note, this is the end of our segment, Music Now. I'm Annie Perez. And I'm Emily Ahi, and this was Music Now. I'm Russell Long. I teach U.S. History. This is my, oh, I've been teaching a long time, 19th year? I think teaching, I spent uh, a good bulk of my teaching career in Savannah um, at Johnson High School uh, to be specific. Uh, I was in middle school last year and I am happy to be here at ECHS. If you could live in any time period, what would it be? Oh, that's tough. So I am drawn to westward expansion, right? I like the idea of kind of starting over from scratch and doing your own thing and you know, just all the possibilities that are there with it. But I also like the uh, modern conveniences of, you know, medicine, uh, technologies that we live with. So uh, a romanticized idea is that, you know, I could, I could handle the old west and, and, you know, being part of westward expansion. but then I probably couldn't because I 
enjoy the technology we have today. What is your favorite moment in history? So that changes. Um, so I've gone through periods where like I was really big into like the colonial period and then uh, the revolution, um, uh, the old west at one point, uh, you know, kind of that westward expansion. Um, I think now I really enjoy uh, the second half of the 20th century, really uh, U.S. Uh, international relations with other countries, like the development of the Cold War and containment. It's actually what I'm I'm teaching right now to my students. That's probably one of my favorites. Just looking at the dynamics of the different uh, leaders uh, and the policies they develop, and really how it impacts uh, everyday Americans. Do you have a favorite sport? So I do. I am a long-suffering um, Atlanta Falcons fan. So I really like football. So I like Georgia as well, but. I'm kind of particular to the NFL and um, you know the Super Bowl a few years ago probably aged me a few years unfortunately. Um, I still don't know if I've recovered from that loss. Welcome to the Rebel Sports Spotlight. I'm head basketball coach Jake Darling and I'm joined today by two of my basketball players. Here today is junior Caleb Williams and sophomore Keon Wallace. Uh, I'm asking these guys a lot of questions. Some funny questions, some uh, just kind of picking their brains about the season and, and where we go forward over the next year for, for basketball. But I'll start with a kind of a silly one, kind of just to get to know who these guys are. Um, if you had to listen to one song on repeat for the rest of your life, what song would it be? And we'll start with, out of the two of you, whoever has the highest GPA. That's me. Um. <laughs> Probably Glow by Love Baby. All right. Juice? Uh, I say I Remember by Kondo Rondo. All right. Um, so we just finished our season a couple weeks ago uh, in the state playoffs. Uh, Juice, we'll start with you. Kind of summarize how we did this year. I mean, we had a great season. People didn't expect us to win as many games as we did. I mean, we could have did better, but I mean, we'll do that next year. All right, Keon. I feel like we did what we were supposed to, but people didn't know that we was capable of doing that. We just played up to our level. All right, do, you, do either one of you guys know what our record was? 18 and 7. What he said, I think. 18 and 8. Ah. We were 18 and 8. Um. Well, that's it for this week's episode of The Pit. I personally like to play softball. We used to be on the same softball team. Crazy. Fun fact. Anyways, that's it for this week's episode of The Pit. I'm Michaela Farron. And I'm Emily Offie. And this is The Pit. Bye.